to do the. Right, I'm gonna to come. I'm gonna come into screen. I'm gonna come. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goliath Go Live. Oh, What's it called again? The Goliath what? Go, go live. live. Go live. Oh, hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to Go Live. Let's go Live. It's episode 63. You're still here with me, Donovan and Jason G. You get oh. to watch us every day for free, but just for a small fee, you can watch us do some comedy on the 26th. Just you and me. Hey, hey, wow. hey, hey, hey. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Promoted a show oh. and I tell it some rhymes. I know the rhyme was a little bit chucky, but wow. no, it, it, we would have forgiven the rhyme, but it's like it's like you forgot to work on the on the performance execution. You know what I mean? You thought about the rhyme, but your performance swag. That's the that was the missing. <laughs> no man, because you know what I mean. Too deep in my brain thinking exactly. about what I need. Exactly. Like, hey. cool. So then it so, just looked no. like you know the. Like, the guy in the class that doesn't like doing a speech when it comes to the day we must do your English speech. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That it's that, bra. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's talk again. I'm talking again. Okay, okay. Okay. In, okay. okay. Retake it. Retake it. Let's go. Count me in. What? Yeah, going live in five, four, three, three, two, one. Oh, wait, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to Goliath's Go Live. It's episode 63. You're here with me, Nick G. I know that you get to see us every day for free, but just for a small fee, you can see all three for only 60 a year. Ah, I was close. I had, yeah, you were doing I had it, man. It was so close. I was trying not to move. I knew Donovan was distracting you and you was doing I knew that was going to distract you. You did well. You that did was well. Pretty Donovan good, tripped you up there. No, Donovan that was pretty good. Up. Thank you. Damn. Thank you. Very nice. Appreciate that. Yeah. Damn, here it feels like Monday, Wednesday, because we missed Monday show again. So, guys, audience, sorry. I don't know if it's our fault or if it's Kenwin's fault, because both times we were supposed to have Kenwin was when the problems happened. Other than yes. that, we had no issues. Broke out Kenwin is the twice. jinx. Kenwin is know. the jinx. I don't know if we're going to have I don't want to talk about it. Kenwin is the jinx. Yeah. We're sorry, Kenwin. We're sorry to your friends and family. But I've never, even when Lean didn't have such bad internet that one of us sucked the whole internet. Kenwin's connection yeah. sucked the whole gigs out of all of our gigs. <laughs> there were no gigs and megs. <laughs> no, it's terrible. It's terrible. So, welcome everybody to the show. If you're watching for the first time, there's a good chance you're watching on CSCS page. That's our guest for today. Thank you for tuning in. We do this every day, 2 o'clock, Monday to Friday. So, tune in on skyroomlive.com and you can check it out and be involved in the show. It's fun times. It's exciting. We want to remind you um, that you need to give your kids something to do. Don't let them watch the show because we don't know what's going to be said. It could be fun. could be crazy. You could have to answer questions. We're going to ask Willem to turn his mic off. Yeah, Willem, you turn mic background Because there's so much. You guys are happening. Know, we just hear all of the action here in the background. <laughs> Um, so now it's off. Now it's quiet. Now we can get the show going. Jason, how are you? I know this This is your weather vibes. You smart this fucking cold that we are experiencing now. Yeah, it is, but I live in Johannesburg. So I like Joburg's version. I don't like this Cape Town version that we've got. Like, I don't know, because this is not Joburg. <laughs> this is a Cape Town version. And cold. It rained the whole like, night. My guy, in winter, I was just like, no, man. So I like cold and dry. Cold and moist. Who likes cold and moist? Who? Nobody. Who? Nobody. Exactly. No, it's terrible. This this weather, I can't deal. It's I, I've had enough of it. I can check. You've been but, holding that cup. You know when you hold a cup mm -hmm. like this? Shoulders I've got front, a, and then you're like, nah, nah, this is my I want to now. climb into this cup and stand <laughs> with my feet in the coffee like this and and just present over the cup. I just everywhere. I just pictured your feet and then having to put that thing in your mouth again. <laughs> like crew my, Don't worry, it's, it's my feet and my coffee. Hundreds. My my talking, yeah, that's that, no comment. My talking thing today is something that I'm uh, quite interesting actually. It is, and I hope it's gonna it's gonna read and translate. But it is this. Ooh. Oh, the Daily Show. Yeah. Hey, hey. Do you know, nice. do you know where? Ah, Look at us! Look at us! Look at yeah, that! Nice. Look at that! No, yeah, we saw so, it. We saw it. What's in it for Noah? That's how cold it is. Because I found this in in my my jacket <laughs> because I had to pull that jacket out. <laughs> then this was in the in the in the because you know when you're pulling those Amazing. New York winter jackets because that's another yeah, yeah, cold. Yeah. Then that's yeah. how cold it is now. Is I had to find this and this was 
uh, the second time I went to the to, to the show, and then you get this one if you're a VIP. This is the pink one. You get oh. a blue one. You get a blue one if you booked. Oh, it but looks like a blue one. I'm beyond. You honest. go. You get to. It, it's a pink it's... one with blue writing. Oh. Is it doing that? Is it doing that thing like the shoe where you see? Yes, it, it is. <laughs> is it? Is it pink is it, or okay, blue? Gold, yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. Okay, now at that it, angle we can see the the strip yeah, is blue. Pink, pink. Yeah. pink with with blue writing, and then this one you have your own queue. You get printed hundreds VIP vibes there. You know where they're like, oh no, no, he's one of the guests. Yeah. Those vibes, yeah. those vibes. So yeah, guy? I think this is, this is pretty cool. And uh, if you ever go to New York, if we're ever able to travel again, go and watch the show. I'll organize your tickets. Whoever you are, mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. whoever you are, no one's going but to New York. But you have to get now. to New York first. No, and no one's going to go now. New York. And by the time people go, it's that you know that point because there's a. I feel like there's a there's a waiting period, like or there's an expiry time on favors. Because you know yes. somebody offers you a favor, then you don't phone that person in six months. That that favor is expired. Eh? That favor because if you ask me now, What's it's favor? Favors, but I know none of you are going. What favor are you talking about? Exactly. And you just you just yeah. put down the disclaimer now. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, now you know. You've got six any, of you, the video, any of you, you said. any of you want to go, any of you want to go, I will organize you a ticket. Before December, there you have it. <laughs> no, because if you have the call, counting. if you have the call to message me September 2021, saying, listen, Jason, remember that time, then we can have another conversation. Jason, Jason, <laughs> Jason, Jason. Jason. No, that's a dope one, man. Don, anyway. how are you in these, in these cold times? Don showed us a ridiculous I... video of people's frozen houses. Yeah, I smock, I smock this weather, um, whether it's cold and, and, and wet or cold and dry. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I'm used to Eastern Cape cold. You know, our guests here say it's probably the same. Like Eastern Cape cold is gets into your bones. It's bitter. This is all right. You know, this is nice. This makes me focus, makes me concentrate lucker. And uh, I'm down with it. Why, why, why do when, people brag about things are like this the whole time? <laughs> in, like they just like this. You know, when you just tell them those are trying to make a like fuss. Catch a <laughs> <laughs> rub themselves. I don't know. They would they would make a fuss, but the toenails grip before they can crack all the way. Back. You know what I mean? The toenails first if the hard to unnecessary. 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 Anyway. Yeah. Mm. Very, 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 very um very heartfelt talking thing um that I have today. This yeah. gentleman is our first ever run of business cards. This one. Yo. First, first ever. I don't know, Jay, I don't know why I've got yours. This is your one over here. <laughs> and it reads, Mine is the one to keep. Actor, MC, facilitator, strangely sexy fat guy. I'll tell you how ba, old ba, this ba, is. Ba. This yeah. is so old, we still had normal Gmail. Um, with, oh, the uh, email addresses. Yeah, Gmail emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't oh, our Goliath and Goliath. Great. Jason R. Goliath at gmail.com. Why are you giving people my email address? Now I'm going to get spam from the wrong people now. Exactly. Exactly. Tell if people you, are, you don't answer your emails. Then, then, tell, then, no, wait. Hold on. First, yeah. first, tell people how you use that same business card to threaten Nicholas and I constantly. Please tell the people. <laughs> tell the people your truth, Don. Even tell them what type of person you really are. No, I'm a, I'm a very good person. And then sometimes I just need to you know, just introduce some, some, just, just justice, just so in the back of your mind, you always know that this could happen. But I always say that if, uh, if, if they make me not, I'm just going to tear this business card and just take the white line off. And then that's all you will see. Doesn't work. Yeah. Doesn't work. You'll but now check this out. Yeah. Here we go. Upgrade. That's the new one over there. Ooh. Not much of a difference. A little bit of a design change over there. Look at that. Social media handles on point. So this is what you guys Sleek, will be receiving clean. now. Nice. That's great. Someone you know, these congratulations. Business cards, these business Thank cards you. were actually a hit, you know, and people, every time we gave these to people, they'd look at it and go, hey, man, this is so intense. This doesn't feel like a business card. But they said this is one of the first cards that they didn't have to search for for too long. It always just, they always just saw it on yeah. their desk. Yeah. These guys. That's why this yeah. was important. We'll say um, a few people apologize for using it as a toothpick in an emergency situation. Because it's a good grade. This is a good yeah, grade. Strong one. Use a strong one. You've got a man. blackhead with this thing. If you scrape your nose. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a facial with it. <laughs> this, this was printed um, just after we had decided that this was the official name because we had yeah. uh, Goliath Incorporated. Which was Goliath Entertainment was also another one. Goliath Entertainment, yeah. yes. Yeah. Goliath and Goliath Da'o's. 
which <laughs> that, that, that's what we've united that's what we've that we registered it just in case that the uh, o's you know what i mean the o's <laughs> the o's man that's dope um my talking thing today also also very very um emotional because because this is the thing that was closest to me when i forgot to get a talking thing it's a i don't know if you can see but it's a ruler Tilt. but it's one oh, of those it's, the three, it's one of those three three, three sides yo yeah. that was for rich that's children a, that was a rich children thing that yeah this one you that can one measure in different languages sharpener, the metal sharpener say yeah, what's your school friend your parents yeah. had a full time span your father gets a 13th check if that's Rotsman. your Your yeah. father's yes, a draftsman if you've got that thing. <laughs> you know. Also, yeah, people who fuck with you at school, you catch him with a corner of a, of a ruler. Yeah. Yo, and I feel like that ruler made, like you were Don't. confident when you drew a line, eh? Precise. No, you, yes. <laughs> Measure I like that print. Donovan just took it straight back to the actual use. We just ignored, as Nicholas allowed Extension 9 to eh, come out there for no reason. No. Unprovoked. <laughs> and provoke Donovan just went straight back to yeah it's also good for lines Nicholas was like you can yeah. stab somebody's eye out and Donovan was like and yeah. you can draw a line which makes it all fine Basil don't do yes. cuss <laughs> you're supposed to be working here you need to do my maths oh, and then just wipe it a off. ruler yes so that's the ruler okay. welcome to the show ladies and gents thank you so much for joining us we hope that you are ready um fact for today what gentlemen. is the daily fact what the fact what the fact what the fact what the, fact, what the actual fact today fact. on the 17th of june 1928 amelia earhart yeah became the yeah, first yeah. woman to fly across the atlantic ocean ah, um, remember that she, She didn't that wasn't her flight actually wow. she just kept the flight log for that flight but she was actually yeah. the first woman to fly so before that only men were flying just just yeah. men chasing and yeah. then she was the first woman she only kept the flight log then just like this is 100 on the dollar the flight myself and then later on she made her own so flight. she did it herself yeah. oh damn nice. amelia yeah. nice yeah. So that was that was nice. um so well done to amelia yeah patriarchy is shit can i just say amelia like, yes. Yes. Is shit. yes it's ear hot Yeah. Yeah. Yes, patriarchy yes. is super shit. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um but she did she was the first woman so that it's just a shout out to ladies out there that you can tell her whatever you want to tell her don't let her tell you cut tell him to put that come and fetch this ruler then you bash. Yeah. <laughs> Must be this far away from me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm tired of cuck. I'm tired of guys being cuck. Don't be cuck, gents. Be nice. Be lacquer. Be be decent. Please. That's always a please. Just be decent. And if you like if you if you need lacquer. Yeah. If you're not mm. lacquer, come talk to us. We'll talk to you. Yeah. Yes. With this ruler in it. Anyway, let's get and the show your... going. <laughs> I will measure let's your colon. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me measure your colon. I will measure your intestinal tract with this. Ruler. And I only got 30 centimeters here, so be careful. <laughs> yeah, no. It's going to take time. <laughs> careful. This much yeah, at a time. Carry on being a shit boy. You'll see. <laughs> We're waiting for you. You want to see magic to go turn this white ruler into a brown one? Jason Mm 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 20 20 okay so you know, think you have to go all the way before we can move on yeah all right let's, let's just give a shout out to our our viewers um Cassandra welcome Lizel Palo is there Rashida Eldin uh Juan Matthew is there Lizel Palo I think I said Adrian oh Adrian Herber Abigail Jackson um it's all happening so so is there Greg Myberg is there Sean Jacobs so thank you to everyone who's watching Hope that you are well and that you are warm and that we are ready for the show. Jay, tell us who our guest is today. Our next guest is um, an anomaly. Oh, great word. I don't words. think he can he, I don't think he can be put into any specific box. We for years have tried to educate audiences about the fact that comedy enjoys different genres and even we can't put this bra into a specific genre. He is one of the funniest human beings on planet earth i enjoy sure. him immensely is the only way and i think that all of us agree that he is already a legend of the game ladies and gentlemen yeah, yeah, yeah. boys and girls the incredible see ya say
Ikamala mingu siya 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 siya. Yeah. Provide the front side. Siya. I mean, I want to massacre nars. I massacre nars. You see, the, the stereotypes are wrong. Like this interview here proves that the stereotypes are wrong. Three mm, colored right. guys, all teeth. Yeah, and the black oh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yes. I am the red away. On that note, Sia, <laughs> on that note, I've got something here that I think you're going to appreciate. I'll never forget buying this DVD of yours, my friend. <laughs> How are you, Prasia? How has this lockdown been treating you? What's been happening in your life? It's been very good, very bad, man. So is life. So is life. But why uh, so? I uh, I managed to write some jokes, some ideas are coming out. So it has not all been bad. Not all been bad. That's amazing. So, what is what is a what is an average day in your life look like now that you are locked down? Are you just locked down in jail, or are you doing stuff? Are you what, what's going on? Uh, I, I I've learned how to cook. I can cook now due to the lockdown. Thank you, lockdown. <laughs> what are you I making? Can... Soft porridge. She <laughs> doesn't have teeth. I can cook. I cook on I cook on oh, so all the food that clicks. I cook food that clicks. Um, <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, and I'm working with my lady here, uh, mother of my child. We're writing everything from oh, streets to together. So yeah, that and and Netflix a lot. Oh, <laughs> you watching, <laughs> watching, yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Don't, I, I, I want to say something. It's, it's, it's not. It's yeah. I, I guess it's a two-part thing. It's a it's a comment and it's a question. Usia obviously wanted to show us that you know comedy has been treating him well. He's very successful. That's why he mm. kept his wardrobe open to show us you know yeah, all, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, all the yeah, new yeah. clothes that he's got. And then in the corner there, my friend, is the Comics Choice <laughs> Awards. Let <laughs> us talk about the Comics <laughs> Choice <laughs> Award. Firstly, tell us oh. what was that one for? No. And what has it done for you since you've won that award? Uh, that award is for the best uh, Venek. That's what I call it. It's the best native chant award. What yeah. it has done for me is giving me confidence to do a one-man show and go out there and tour. Because uh, I've always been scared of being on stage alone doing an hour. So what that award did for me was... Uh, was oh, I'm surprised by that. People, uh, the people in Eastern Cape, like now, they... They ended up understanding that no, he's ours, and uh, we will support him. Yeah. Nice, bro. See, how long have you been performing, or how long is it were you performing before you did your first one, man? Uh, the, the first what the first time I did comedy was a one man show. My first time <laughs> on stage was an hour. <laughs> how? How, dear? <laughs> how? My first time on stage. Was an hour in in 2007 in Port Elizabeth. There were no comedians that I knew of, so I yeah. watched a lot of comedy DVDs, some Chris Rock, and then I was like, I can do that. So I had six months to write an hour. I wrote that hour. Yeah, in fact, June 14, 14 June was my oh, the anniversary. anniversary doing comedy. How did the show go? You uh, no, know, the show was bad because. I had some bad reviews <laughs> from Herald. They said uh, my jokes are very offensive because I joke like I'd rather die from AIDS than cholera, you know? So oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of bad jokes. So that's what got me scared to doing one-man shows because I started mm. by doing a one-man show. Yeah. So then how long yeah. after that did you do your next one? Then? Uh... It took me six years to do the next one. Really? Yeah. Damn. I have a, a question. See, you are, I think for me, your main differentiator is there are very few comedians that can pull off an onstage character and persona without the audience knowing, is this a persona or is this person just like that? Because if you go, 
Or is this what? What is going on? Because yeah. you do. I I always call you the drunken master because you <laughs> always you you put on a on a, on a persona that that comes across as somebody that's had a few, but mm. the the rate of punchlines and gags is just so in, too insane for a drunk person to manage. You know what I mean? So mm. so uh, is is that intentional? And what is that character all about? No, like that's not intentional at all. But uh, I, I didn't know until I came to Joburg that people are accusing me of being drunk on stage. You know, uh, well, the, the reason I look drunk is that I stand in one place, and I stand yeah. in one place because when I move around, I lose my train of thought. I end okay. up losing my wow. my, yeah. my jokes. Yeah. So for me, the best way to do comedy is to stand in one place, and it gets tiring sometimes. So you'll find me moving like this. Then I look around. <laughs> then I look around. And then... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and then, at the same time, the, the, the content is so... It is, I'm so passionate about the, the content because it's taken from my real life. So I took all the, 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 the bad stories in my life and turned them to jokes. So that's mm. why I call my writing process turning stars to stars, you know? So when wow. I deliver those jokes, I deliver them with, with a lot of passion. And yeah, then when I watch true. myself now on YouTube, I'm like, damn, I'm channeling my father because that's how he is. <laughs> I didn't know Does your father drink? A man, but I'm channeling my father. So yeah. Does your father like drink? A lot. <laughs> 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 I've got a question, bro. And I think it picks up nicely from what you're saying now. We had um, David Gao on the show a couple of weeks ago, and you came up in conversation, obviously. You know, he's like, when, when, when David Gao talks about the new generation of comedians, yeah. Yeah. You always, he will always bring up, you see Sia Seya, for example. Yeah, he I know. Always he wants Sia to Seya like up. And, and, and we've noticed, you know, that you've been on a couple of David's shows and for obvious reasons, there's a reason David keeps bringing you back to that show. Yeah. yeah. And you know, what is it? What, 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 what do you think it is that makes David go, this is the guy that we need to be investing in. What flipped? What was the switch that flipped, you know, in your mind where you were like, you know what, let me show you guys who CSA really is. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, cause there's so much talent that's on the, the blacks only lineup, you yeah. know, maybe, Maybe it's me being different. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. But for me, like when I go to every show, I try to bring in uh, a new feeling to my set. You know, uh, yeah. I'm sure uh, I remember the first time I played in his show, I was second in the lineup, first half. And then the second time I did his show, I had lined the show. You know, so I'm mm. sure like I remind him of school, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. It, 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 it's it's for me. I can tell you, like like for me, I would go after Skumba before I chose to go after you, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's it's not. I'm not saying either of you are better better comedians than the other because Skumba is phenomenal in a whole in a different category. You know what I mean? But when I watch Skumba, I I get a I get more of a sense that he's is doing a, a comedic set. Whereas with you, the hilarity is so effortless. It always just feels like, like you you honestly are. The audience gets gets two minutes in, feel like they're just talking to a friend. You know what I mean? And then to compete <laughs> with the relationship you yeah. have with the audience, mm -mm, I'd rather go before you. Thank you very much. I remember th there's a clip on YouTube uh, I did at Bakas. Uh, I was making fun. One of the jokes that's taken from my life. So I'm making yeah. fun of my gap. So the audience yes. is laughing their hardest on that joke. Yay. So in the, as they are laughing, I'm angry now. I started getting angry. Like, you know, like, it's yourself. not funny. It's not I funny. Can't funny myself. <laughs> they love feeling more. Because <laughs> no comedian on stage would say it's not funny. You know? Yeah. So, yes, of course. Trying to be funny. So I'm that honest that like I, I catch myself on stage and then I'm like, oh, did I say that? You know, so like, <laughs> they, they relate to the <laughs> Why are you laughing at these jokes? They're not funny. Why are you yeah, telling exactly. these jokes? They are not funny. Why do you Amazing. think they're not funny? 
Why would you go on stage and tell a joke that you think is not funny? <laughs> no, it's it's a, it's funny, but like you would get like into the the comedy zone and end yeah, up yeah. talking about yeah, so much just about yeah. too comfortable. And then they like you know they deal and you like them. It's too soon. It's too soon. It's too soon. It's not funny. It's not funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not necessarily the jokes. It's more just the conversational side of the exactly, the comedy, exactly. where you start exactly. exposing your your inner truths. Exactly. That's what happened when I was watching Chris Rock tambourine when he was talking yeah. about his divorce. I could hear yes. his voice changing. Yes. And I was like, damn, I'm sure it's too soon for him. But he did it anyway. <laughs> and, and that is such a great, great point. Do you think that... So great. I feel like the thing that comics don't talk publicly enough about is that this thing that we do is a drug. So much so that the punchline becomes our number one priority. Like, we will prioritize a punchline over your feelings every day of the week, very, very quickly. We will make mm. a joke at somebody's expense because funny becomes the thing that 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 drives us. You know what I mean? So how do you how do you control, other than those moments, what you do and don't share? I share everything. Like uh, when I watch my when I watch my clips, I'm like I'm like I've told these people all my life, like everything about myself. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm used to it now. I'm very much used to it. So even now, because last year when I was doing a tour for my Super Saiyan show, uh, uh, one man show, I was like, I'm not happy with the show because I have not written a new joke about my father. I want to write a joke about my yeah. father. And then, yeah, I just wrote a joke during lockdown about him. Now I'm angry because there's no place to perform. This joke Perform it now. Up. Test it on us. <laughs> Test it on us. We'll give you the truth. We'll tell you the truth. Donovan will translate. <laughs> Super Saiyan is actually a genius name for a show. Let me just let me just start there. Super Saiyan, amazing. <laughs> Sorry. So you're not going to do the joke. You want me to explain Super Saiyan? Why not? Yeah, explain Super Saiyan. You, you guys, to... you guys obviously know where Super Saiyan comes from, Jay. Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Explain, that's our yeah, exactly. explanation. Explain, explain Super Saiyan. No, Sia's C- going to explain it. Like, because that's the thing with coming up with a show title. It's one, it's one of the hardest things to do, to come up with yeah. the name of a show. How do you settle on something like yeah. Super Saiyan? Mm. Uh, but my surname is Saiya. So yeah. uh, I'm, uh, I'm the first from my father's kid to to pass my trick. I'm the first to graduate. I'm the first to be on TV. I talk about my life uh, a lot on stage. So meaning I'm becoming a better sayer on stage. You oh, know? Man. So, yeah, that's, that's amazing. amazing. That's amazing. That is, that's wow. Great. That is dope. What a great explanation. So now, see, you were saying you're doing a you're doing a live stream one man as well. On can you tell us more about that? You said sixth of July. Yes, sixth of July. I'm doing a. I I, I put together a a, a combination of. A, I put together an hour of those jokes and. And no, where can we, how do we, how do we, how do we watch it? We, what athlete. must we do? Oh, no, the tickets are available at Quicket. Uh, there's a link here on my page. Uh, look for the best of CSA. Uh, you buy the ticket, and then I will send you, after you bought the ticket, you don't have to wait for a 6th of July. I will also send you uh, a link of my documentary uh, that you can watch for free. Yes. Oh, nice. That's amazing, bro. Nice. Mm. Uh, Don't... You see, uh, it's uh, just uh, tell the people there on your page that um, while they kind of, because I know a lot of people are not used to cricket, so while the people on your page are getting used to kind of cricket and the way it works, they might as well just test out so that they're not disappointed for your show mm-hmm. and buy tickets for our show on the 26th so they can buy <laughs> yeah. tickets to Goliath Comedy Club. Exactly. Uh, on the same exactly. thing, cricket, then at least you, you waste off cricket when it comes down to yeah. So on the 26th, you, that's next next week Friday. We're doing our show eight o'clock. Tickets also on Cricket Goliath Comedy Club. I just had to jump on. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, but also people, people must get used to the system. Mm. Yeah. 
people must get used to the system. You know, practice makes perfect. Yes. By the time they get to see yeah, us, so they'll be perfect at buying online tickets. You don't want to um, yeah. come as yeah. Super so Saiyan. even if you want to buy like two or three tickets for our show just to practice, <laughs> yeah, just practice. Like maybe one for your tablet, get one for your up. phone, one Same for a laptop. Can gift people. Mm, very mm, nice. Mm, very nice gifting. Gents, yes. I know that we've got to let's see go at some point, but I've got five rapid fire questions for him. Let's May go. I? Sure. May I? All right. Five rapid fire questions. Ne? And uh, you've got you've got a minimal time to answer them. And we like wrong answers. So here, here we go. Sure. And I'm going to bring this thing back. Jason mentioned it earlier on. Who is the one person that you would not want to perform after? So if you're watching six Ooh, guys good perform, question. the one person mm. you would not want to go after? Anyone, anyone in the world. <laughs> Salesman. salesman. Yeah. Hey, salesman yeah, is another salesman machine. Is, no, no, no. Oh, oh. The one person other than salesman. The salesman <laughs> say, hey, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. There's nobody in South Africa that can go on after salesman. So who's the one person <laughs> other? That's, a, that's an easy... That's, that's, an that's a nice... Who, that's a nice who, who other than salesman do you not want to follow? Ever. On the screen, Donovan. Lies. All right. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> if you had an opportunity to talk to the president for 10 minutes, what would you want to talk about? Anything. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes. Okay. I come to the meeting <laughs> with you. <laughs> Let's talk cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes of talk, cigarette talk. <laughs> We're not even going to bring other subjects in. The whole 10 minutes is going to be... Well, as long as it takes to smoke a quiet, that's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> la lela, la lela. Hey, 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 hey. The president, hey, All right, hey, that's hey, a very hey, good hey. answer. Difficult question. What is the advantage of being Sia Sia? Himself. Easily. Being himself. He's not scared of being himself. All the time, himself. He smiles like he has a lot of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great yeah. answer. Great no, answer. It is a great answer. All right. If you were a teacher, Zia, what subject would you like to teach at school? Geography. Why? Why? I, I used to kill geography at school. I was 100% in geography. Talking about tropical cyclones and hurricanes. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, Aye. you can tell us what the barometer readings are outside now here in Joburg. It's hella cold. I enjoy talking about geography. Geography was also my I easiest didn't see subject, that coming. Right? Yeah. I didn't see, I didn't see it coming at all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it coming. You know that in my, in my matric year, I slipped through half of science, my geography like classes. Science, not geography. I look like science. <laughs> you look like you look like like what can happen if you don't know science but you do science. <laughs> you look like the consequences of, of experimentation. Yeah. Look like the consequences of do not try this at home. All right, final question. If you were no. given the task to teach a foreigner one word in Kosa, what would that word be? Yo. Honest. Yo. Be honest. Yo. Don't don't worry about ah, families watching. General. There's so many words. The Aktanda. Yeah. Because the first time. Yeah, the Aktanda, which is I love you. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, I met a vendor guy here, and then he taught me the first sentence in vendor. Onaka You know, which means the Aktanda. Okay. Point. Okay. Point. Okay. That's great. Just what a nice place. All love. I love it. That's dope. That's dope. That's it. Five out of five. Five. Ah, yeah. Nice. Well done. Um, so, Sia, before we end, just tell us where can we follow you? Where can we find you? What's happening aside from your show, which is happening after our show on the 26th, where they can buy tickets at Quicket? What else can you tell us? Uh, yeah, I'm on, uh, I'm on uh, Instagram at Sia I'm on uh, Facebook, Sia Sia Comedy and the page. Uh, I'm on Twitter, it's CSIA Comedy. Uh, you can go on, on uh, if you don't know my jokes, you can also go to my YouTube channel, CSIA Vision, and subscribe. You will see my work. But if you do speak English, you're an English speaker, and you don't understand <laughs> Benet, buy yeah. my ticket, I will send you 
a DVD of my English material for free. Wow. Oh, that's a big mm. commitment. That so if somebody doesn't speak, in, and how are you going to verify all of these requests for the free DVD? Are you going to uh, phone them one by one? No, just based a, on the when names. You buy, when you buy the ticket, there, there's an email address that's there. So I will email yeah. you everything you want. Just let me know, are you, do you like English or do you like Corsa? Do you speak English or Corsa? I will send you the... The, the links for the right stuff. You're doing the That's things really to amazing. the pot, son. You're doing the things. That is dope, man. See, thank you so much for making time. <clears throat> Yo, did you oh, hear thank that? you so much for the, for the hospitality. Thanks a lot. I know. Sebula, now, are we, are we, and congrats again on, the, on the, the Comics Choice Award in the background. I don't know why you didn't bring it closer for us to see nicely, but I like that. It's not clean. This other one is in TV. This one is in Tobek. I'm going to take it to East London. And then I'm going to win another one and take it to Kids out. I want to plant them all over. Nice. nice. <laughs> Are you going to go do a parade there in Eastern Cape? Because we know they don't get a lot of entertainment and things happening there. You're going to go ride around in the bus with your throat. The views just of Nicholas Goliath people. are not necessarily the views of Goliath. No, Goliath. No. Eastern Cape, they don't understand this comedy awards. I'd rather go there and tour, go to places like Ntata, Port Alfred, those small towns that don't get a lot of comedy shows, you know, because there's a lot happening there. There's a place called Tofimva, but like, there's a lot of people that will love entertainment, but they don't get a lot. So, in small towns like that, yeah, after the lockdown, we are there. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for brother. sure. Um, to our viewers, Juan Matthew Prince, can I just say, I just cleared my throat, bro. He's telling me again about Rona. It's not Rona. I just cleared my throat. Every time we're on the thing, then you want to talk about Rona. You can't Juan. say his name without sounding like that. The person it's who's got Juan. in their name is the main person that must not comment about Rona. You can't introduce yourself without people getting scared. My name is Juan. Mm. Eh? Nah, it's crazy. But yeah, we did get some nice views. I see some new names. I assume that they're from your page. Ayanda, Mabombo, um, Karen Isaacs, um, Kopovili. Oh, are we? So... Thank you so much to everybody for tuning in. It's been a fun show. We're back tomorrow at 2 o'clock because we have internet because no Kenwin. Um, so things are going to work out. Jay, Don, you guys have been great. Good luck. Stay warm. Um, and I'm going to come with fire energy and a fire rhyme tomorrow because it's 64. Oh, yeah. That makes it a lot easier. Very um, easy. Yeah. Lots of words to rhyme. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. Nice. I'm still nice. cracking myself for 67. Very nice. I don't know what I'm going to do. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I might just do 67 minutes of silence. Just because... Anyway, so thank you for joining <laughs> us, ladies and gents. We'll see you tomorrow. Away! Shut up! Bye!